This video will show you how to edit a poll. Prepare for learning self-assessment and the proof of learning self-assessment both has a connected poll. To edit the linked poll, you should scroll down, find the poll, and click this three-dot icon. The first option is edit. This is the poll title. What you want to pay attention is this part. Are you still editing the poll for lesson one? If it's for other lessons, you want to adjust the number accordingly. This is the first question. Make sure you put in the specific I can statement here. Moving on to question two. Question two is ready to go unless you want to make modifications. Question three need the second I can statement. And question four is a pair of question three. If your lesson has more than two I can statements, make sure it covers the most important two to three I can statements. If you ever need to create a new question, click this button add a new question. And if this is a question you created unintentionally、uh, or this become extra, you can click this X icon to delete it. Now let's talk about. Poll result display. CN polls are anonymous by default. For multiple choice questions, after students answer this question, both you and your students are able to see the result as a pie chart. Short answer question give you the option to display respondent's name next to each answer. But keep in mind, if you check this box, your students will be able to see each other's names. So this brings you to poll settings. You may consider adjust the poll settings. On this result display option, you may want to limit the poll result display to yourself. Once you finish reviewing your poll and adjusting poll settings, click submit. Now you have finished editing the poll. Remember from the three dot icon, you can go back edit the poll anytime. There are other management options. For example, you may export poll result into a CSV file.